All right. Good evening, everyone. So we are 114 now and counting. So I hope that uh, you are comfortable with uh, where you are right now. So um, may I know who are the first timers here? Because uh, not everyone is like uh, following the rules. No, na kailangan uh, ilagay nila yung ano nila, lang ilagaw nila yung uh, shall I say yung pangalan nila at sa kayo nag invite nila. No, so hindi pa nakalagay. So paki chat na lang sa chat box na you are first timers, okay? So yes, um, yeah, okay, that's great, no? So meron pala talaga tayong maraming uh, first timers ngayon, okay? So it's already like uh, seven, ano na ngayon? 7.15. So, we're going to start na po, guys. So, I hope that you are... Okay. So, ito yung dapat ang ating rules, no? So, uh, of course, no picture taking of slides. Tapos, dapat itong example, Jane underscore uh, CEO Meltsy, if you are invited by, by someone, no? So, dapat maka-indicate dyan sa ano, pangalan ninyo. Anyway, guys, uh, let's start na. So, let us start with our prayer. So, let us put ourselves in the holy presence of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Uh, today, I ask you to bless me so I may become a blessing. Lord, I commit myself to enrich others. But because I cannot give what I do not have, I commit myself to become rich. I commit myself to serve you and to serve the poor with my wealth. Today, I open myself to the abundance of the universe. Use me as your channel of love. Give me the ability to create wealth that will bless the world. Increase my financial wisdom and expand my territories. I place my life in your hands in Jesus' name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good evening, everyone. Good morning. Good afternoon no? sa lahat ng mga attendees natin ngayon worldwide. Okay? So, uh, thank you so much for coming and thank you so much for attending. And uh, I hope that you are done with your dinner. Okay? So that uh, you'll be serious and uh, focused no? in listening to our concepts for tonight. Okay? So, I will introduce myself. My name is Meltsy. I'm one of the CEO Marketing Director of the company International Marketing Group. I was born 1984, graduated elementary 1997, high school 2001, college 2005, master's degree 2008, and doctorate degree 2013. So very obvious na po, no? This job before I become full-time here in this uh, company. So um, before, I was a teacher, no? Uh, both private and public school. I was teaching in the depth ed from 2007 to 2015. And then a private school din ako, first teaching job ko. But uh, while teaching at the government, I was also teaching uh, in college no, as part-time. At the same time po, I was doing home-based online teaching. So because I could not rely on my salary alone from depth ed, no? Kasi ang dami-dami ko pong binubuhay, mga kapatid ko, no? So, um, but I decided... Uh, to leave DepEd 2015, but hindi ako nag-resign, no? nag-leave muna ako. So I was like a school admin in one of the world-class uh, culinary school in the Philippines, but Cebu-based. But at the same time po, uh, nag-consultant po ako ng private school, uh, of course, dito sa Cebu. No? Um, then, uh, professor ako ng UC from 2015 to 2017, uh, teaching chemistry and physics pang gabi. And then, I was connected with Sears Review Center. Nag-conduct nag, nag ako ng lecture uh, ng LET. So, I was like uh, going out of town um, every Saturday and Sunday. And I started doing um, IMG as a part-time part financial educator way back November of 2016. But you know what, guys? Uh, in less than a year, I left my uh, teaching career sa akadim and I focused dito sa IMG as a, uh, as a full-time financial educator. So maybe you're wondering why, bakit po ako nag-full-time nag no? dito sa IMG. So later on in my slides, you will learn a lot kung bakit po. So please uh, open your heart, open your mind, uh, embrace the concept which I am going to teach you tonight because I know that if you can understand this, um, I believe na talagang merong magbago sa buhay mo, like me. Okay? So, ang dami-dami pong nagbago sa buhay ko. Okay, bakit 
uh, kami andito. Bakit tayo andito ngayon? No? Because we are into the mission of educating 10 million Filipinos by year 2025. And you are now part of that uh, 10 million Filipinas because you are attending um, my webinar for tonight. Now, if you can understand the concept which I am going to teach you tonight, I want to ask you, ilan kaya sa mga kaibigan mo, sa mga kakilala mo, sa mga kapamilya mo, no? Uh, whom you like to be part of that 10 million financially educated by year 2025. Okay? So, ilan kaya dyan? Or, mag or ilan kaya dyan sa mga friends mo na uh, magiging parte ng 10 million financially educated? Okay? So, knowledge is power and IMG is determined to provide 10 million people all over the world with a financial education that empowers them to have a better future. Okay, ang galing. And uh, our main office is in 9th floor, Kings Court Building, Chino Roses Avenue, Makati City. Yan po ang aming main office. Uh, we are IMG. We are one of the biggest and fastest growing financial services marketing company in the Philippines, Hong Kong, Taiwan, Macau, Singapore, in the Middle East, Europe, and going worldwide. Okay? So, ang laki-laki po. Tapos, uh, we are crusaders. And our crusade is we want to deliver the world's financial wake-up call. Changing people from spenders to savers. Okay? So, yan ang aming crusade dito. So, if you will be part of our company, you will be part of the crusaders, uh, which... Uh, we have this crusade to change people from spenders to savers. And now, if you're first-timers to be part of this webinar tonight and you think that you're a spender, I think if you will listen to uh, this talk um, seriously tonight, I think talagang mabago yung the way you manage your finances. Siguro uh, magiging spender ka na or magiging saver ka na instead of being spender, right? And then, um, our vision dito, guys, is to create a new industry where everyone is able to earn what the wealthy are earning by bringing the secrets of the wealthy to all. Okay? So, wala pong nagtuturo sa atin kung ano yung mga sikreto, kung paano tayo maging mayaman. Okay? So, everyone has a right to become wealthy if they have the right information. So, um, I was like very shocked no, when I was first attending the seminar in our office here uh, with regards to this because of course, I finished my master's and doctorate degree but yet, Wala talagang nagtuturo sa akin pa paano like to manage my finances because when I was in depth ed, um, talagang ang culture namin doon is loan eh. Loan, reloan. Uh, yun ang aming culture doon. So, I was shocked like, oh my God, bakit lang ako uh, ngayon na natuto ng ganito? Or why is that that uh, uh, only IMG has taught me about this? No? Okay. So, uh, we our mission is to help every family achieve financial freedom. Freedom. That is why we are not ashamed of what we're doing. We're so proud. We're so excited. Because of course, uh, every person whom we know, and then we're going to share this advocacy and mission to them, wala talaga sigurong mag, 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 mag refuse. No? Kasi if uh, you will be helped to be financially free, will you refuse that offer? Of course not. But because other people don't understand kung anong ginagawa namin dito, akala talaga nila nag-networking tayo dito sa IMG. So that's the reason why, no, na parang i-refuse tayo sa ating mga kaibigan, especially if iba na yung mga posts natin sa Facebook. So we are here, guys, to fight against poverty. Yan po ang uh, ginagawa namin dito. And of course, because we're into financial education, we are using these books as a tool uh, for financial education. So we have this, The Secret to Saving and Building Your Future book, Become Your Own Financial Educator. So it is said in there, financial education is not just for the wealthy, it's for everyone. And uh, we also have this um, workshop or workbook no, na uh, talagang ang ganda-ganda ng aming uh, way or, yeah, mode or way of uh, uh, conducting the seminar because right now, Talaga ang dami-daming attendees every Saturday. Sometimes uh, lalagpas ng 1,000 attendees, no? Kasi ang yung mga mag-conduct ng aming workshop dito are really like uh, uh, in the financial industry na uh, built their names already. So, uh, bakit po kami uh, gumagawa ng financial literacy, of course, and we're using this book uh, for us to hit, no? The 10 million mission or uh, goal 
no na magiging financially educated by year 2025 now Uh, if you wish to attend this workshop every Saturday, you ask the person who invited you kung paano talaga sila maka-attend. Kasi ang ganda-ganda talaga, no? Every workshop, uh, it will be uh, making changes in your life. Like what I have experienced and uh, like what my friends are experiencing when they are already part of IMG. Okay? Now, uh, isa po sa mga author ng aming book is uh, Bo Sanchez, no? So sabi ni Bo, friend, This is your ticket to upgrading your financial life. Devour it and share it with people who need a financial revolution in their life. So may your dreams come true, Bo Sanchez. Maybe you're familiar with him. Ah, uh, sikat din siya na author, no? And every time I the feast na or kerigma conference before, no? Na mangyayari sa ating uh, place, no? Siya po yon, no? Okay, so. I would like to reiterate what our president uh, have mentioned, no, or stated during his first sauna, that there will be mandatory financial education for all migrant families, and that shall be pursued along with incentives to encourage entrepreneurship. So, uh, yes, I believe because uh, there are a lot of OFWs like uh, maganda ang sahod, no, maganda ang trabaho, but then uh, because there is no financial education. When they go back to the Philippines, wala pa rin. Walang nangyayari. Kasi while working abroad, uh, all they understood, all they uh, did was like uh, sending money to their family members in the Philippines without uh, even no setting aside something for themselves. No, Talagang walang preparation. So that's why I'm so happy with what we're doing here because we can help a lot of people worldwide. No, Tinatutulungan talaga natin. So I'm so happy. At the same time, I, wa I was ashamed. Uh, why, why, why happy? Because uh, when I left my teaching career way back November, I think, or October 2017, uh, these laws, no, or RAs, 106-10922, were like somehow implemented. No, there is a mandate to implement. Uh, uh, this RAs mandate to teach financial literacy to students. Pero sabi ng ating uh, Secretary of Education, Dr. Briones. If you want to teach financial literacy to students, you have to start with the teachers. Okay, so uh, para nahiya ako noon kasi, oh my God, andito na kami sa posisyon na to, no? In, in fact, ang dami-daming teachers na, na talagang natatapos ng kanilang uh, postgraduate studies. But yes, this is a fact, no? That we are not really, we are not that really financially literate. I was so happy because uh, I decided to uh, resign from my teaching career in the academy and then that was the time na napa-implement ito so i was so happy because in my mind and my heart i i told myself okay marami na ako talagang matutulungan nito na mga guro kasi alam ko ang na-experience ng ibang mga guro no the what we called as financial pain i know that because i too experienced the same okay so why do you think uh, we need financial education bakit kaya kailangan ang financial education okay many good people fail we know that Many hardworking, smart, young, and old people fail. Many teachers, OFWs, doctors, engineers fail. And they also end up retiring without enough savings. So, ang dami-dami talaga. So, bakit? No, so, people don't plan to fail. They simply fail to plan their personal finances. I'm so happy and thankful because if not that my auntie invited me here in IMG, siguro po, Andun pa rin ako sa status ng loan, reloan CA culture. That's why I'm so happy that being part of this company, aside from I help myself, uh, I also have helped a lot of people already. Especially right now that I am also like, uh, recommended to uh, conduct lectures sa PNP po, region to region na, na po yan. Tapos marami din akong napa-realize na, oo oh, nga, no? bakit ngayon ko lang nakita ang IMG? Bakit ngayon lang namin na-experience ang financial literacy? So in that case, I come to realize na marami pala talagang nangangailangan. So that's why we do massively, no? Araw-araw po ang ating talk dito online. And in fact, mas maganda ito kasi uh, wala kayong traffic na ma-experience. You are just at home. Then marami din kaming classes. You can attend our different uh, classes. Okay? So kulang sa pag-aaral. Now, uh, jobless. What am I supposed to do? So these are the people uh, these are the people uh, who do not like for example plan no kung ano kay mangyayari kapag uh, mawalan ako ng trabaho so 
we know that there are people who have wrong money mindset. Ano po yung mga wrong money mindset ng tao? Una po, many people believe that financial education is only for the wealthy. Ay, mayaman. Pangoyaman lang yung financial literacy. But you know what? Uh, talagang kailangan ang financial literacy sa lahat ng tao. May it be uh, they come from different walks of life. No? So, wag, wag tayo maniniwala na for, uh, for the wealthy lang talaga ang financial education. Lahat pwede nating i-educate. Because that is our mission. Wala namang pilipili ang financial education eh. Wala kaming pilipili na tuturuan. Okay? Mabata man, mapamatanda man, or whatever. So, many believe that solution to financial challenges is borrowing money. Do you agree on that? If you agree, you type. I agree because I know someone who is like that. I agree because I experienced the same too. No? So, ako din naka-experience ako. Na every time I like uh, have a problem, na-experience ko talaga yan na mag manghihiram na lang ng pera every time may ma-hospital, every time na may emergency, every time na may ganito-ganyan, panghiram lang talaga ng pera ang aking uh, nalalaman. Okay? E, uh, some even rely on luck. No, so, ah, swerte-swerte lang talaga itong buhay. Siya, maswerte siya. Ganyan, swerte siya. No, hindi. No, so, uh, we need to re really learn, no? Okay. Many people belong to a community of spenders who do not believe on preparing for their future. Ito natatawa ko eh. Because when I was in my previous um, career, ay ay, so meaning to say I shifted career already this time. So in my previous career, every time na mag-vacant period, recess time, lunch time, or whatsoever, uh, we keep on uh, like, ang palagi na lang talaga namin sasabihin, uy, saan tayo maka-CA ngayon? Saan tayo maka-reloan? Maka Ikaw munang kumaker, ha? So, parang ganun. Pero, uh, when the time that I become part of this community of uh, savers and investors, every time we meet each other, every time we see each other, at talaga ang, gaga ang sasabihin namin sa sarili namin, huy, ano mababang stocks ngayon? Saan tayo mag-invest? Ganyan, ganyan. So, are you, ano ba, nakatap up ko na ba sa investment mo? So, talagang, Happy ako kasi iba ang mindset eh. So, iba ang patutunguhan, no? Kapag ang community mo ay ganyan. So, ngayon, if I'll ask you in your environment, in your uh, in your uh, working environment, in your family, ganyan ba din ang iniisip ninyo? Every time na makikita kayo, ganyan ba din na, uy, ano bang, saan ka nag-invest ngayon? Ganyan ba? If not, mag-type ka, hindi. Hindi kami ganyan sa working environment namin. Okay? So, that's why I'm so happy being part of this community. Okay. Next, we want people to avoid the retirement crisis because of low savings and high debt. Ah, mostly po talaga, ayan ang nangyayari, no? Palaging nanghihiram ng pera, nangungutang, pero hindi nag-iipon. So, many people use their credit cards as emergency fund. And most people don't know how to manage their debts. Their debts manage them instead. Okay? Their salary move from hand to mouth. Then to hand to hand, and then to touch me not. So, bakit um medyo natatawa ako dito? Kasi I really experienced this. In fact, na nakakalimutan ko na yung aking pin ng ATM ko eh. I forgot na the pin. Ano ba yung pin ng ATM ko? Because I keep on uh, uh, paying interest to my uh uh ng tao nito loans, pero hindi na kukuha yung principal kasi interest only yung binabayaran. Okay. Now, car loans, housing loans, salary loans, credit card debts are accumulated rather than investment. Kasi walang nagtuturo sa tao na sometimes we need to analyze what are those things na uh, ina-acquire natin. Is it really asset or is it really uh, liabilities or is it really uh, uh, asset na we think or is it really liabilities na we think are assets? Ganyan. So, there are a lot of uh, mga, mga myths no? or mga maling akala talaga. Uh, in terms of like this. Okay. So, baon sa utang, maghirap na siya mag-retire. So, next, people know saving the wrong way. Alam natin ang mag-ipon pero mga mali na mga pamamaraan. OFWs, teachers, professionals, seafarers end up with nothing after working 20 to 30 years because they did not know the power uh, of compounding interest and how to invest correctly. Hindi nila alam. Now, ngayon, kung mag-share mag, mag -share kami, like, uy, makinig ka muna sa amin dito sa IMG, maganda ang concepts na tinuturo namin dito. Agad naman magsabi na, ay, na-scam na kami eh. Bago lang kami na-scam. 
that's basically the reason why we are conducting financial literacy classes. That's the reason why we're doing financial education to prevent us people to be scammed. Mas scam ka talaga kasi hindi mo alam ang mga concepts. That's the reason why ang title ng aking talk tonight, Financial Education Concepts Unlocked. Because marami tayong mga financial concepts na hindi natin nalalaman talaga. Katulad nung noon, no, na vocabulary, unlocking of vocabulary, like that. Kasi meron tayo talagang hindi, uh, marami hindi alam. no? So, Filipinos are the only people in the world with 13-month pay. Investing 5 years of 13-month pay or at least 100,000, it will be multi-millions retirement funds. If only we all know how to save the right way. Now, another realization for us, guys, because ang dami-dami na po, or for how many years that we're working, pero most of the employees spend their bonuses. Hindi talaga iniipon. In fact, uh, in my case po, in our government situation, no, sa DepEd, yung bonus namin sa May, kinukuha na ng December. Yung bonus namin sa December, kinukuha na ng May. Yung clothing allowance namin, sangla na. Yung chalk allowance namin, nasangla na din. So, when I reach here in the company, ang dami-dami kong na-realize, oh my God, ang sakit. Kasi talagang ano eh, tagus, no? Kasi uh, na-experience talaga, na-experience ko talaga yan, no? That's the reason why, oh my God, ang gada-gada pala ng concept na tinuturo ng IMG, no? So, it's worth sharing talaga. Now, if you want to be rich, you need to be financially literate. That's according to Robert Kiyosaki. I happened to read the book of Robert Kiyosaki, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, and the other one is Why Rich, Why rich Are Getting Richer. Nahiya din ako another sa kanyang sinasabi kasi uh, he said that PhD means poor, helpless, and desperate. No? Bakit daw ang isang... Uh, uh, professor nagtuturo ng entrepreneurship na uh, wala siyang own business. Nahiya ako in the sense na right because even though marami na ang mga nakagraduate ng postgraduate studies, marami na ang nasa mataas na position in any walks of life. Pero alam ba natin na hindi lahat financially free? Hindi lahat financially independent? So sabi ko sa sarili ko, hindi pala yan sa title. Hindi pala yan sa position natin. It really depends on how uh, literate, how educated we are in terms of finances. Okay? So, what is your situation right now, guys? Oh, oh my God. Wag kayong mag-drawing there. Okay, so, um, itatanong ko sa inyo yan, what is your situation right now? Do you have problems paying your bills? And uh, are you concerned about your job and your career? Are you paid what you are worth? Do you feel that a financial trap is affecting your family? Are your children growing up and your parents growing old faster than you can provide for them? So it is ironic that we work hard all our lives but still retire poor. Many do so much to raise their kids and often see them finish college with a lot of debt. Totoo ito lahat. Now, if you are experiencing this, you are in the right room tonight. You are in the right meeting tonight. But if you're not experiencing all this, maybe your friends, family members, relatives do. So therefore, it's worth sharing. Okay. So we believe in financial education. We IMG advocates are here to provide financial solutions. Therefore, if naka-experience ka uh, those mga questions na tinatanong ko kanina, we are here to provide the solution. So therefore, you will learn. No? Ang dami-dami mong matutunan. So we are here also because we want to help people avoid obstacles ahead or challenges ahead like retirement crisis because of poor saving habits. Fewer companies offer pensions. Retirement benefits such as SSS and GSIS become unsustainable. Alam natin yan. Do not uh, rely on just your retirement benefit kasi inflation continue to rise. Magkano na lang yan or ilan na lang or magkano na lang ang value niyan when you reach 70, 60, 80. So we also want you or people to avoid education crisis because we know that tuition costs keep rising. Student loans can be a major burden. So that's why we need to prepare. 
some graduates are having trouble finding good jobs and the right career for them. So another thing is spending crisis because we know that some people spend more on things they don't need with the money they don't have. Talagang mangungutang para maka-acquire ng isang bagay. At sasabihin pa naman, ay kasi ma'am, hindi kami talagang maka-acquire ng ganyan kapag hindi mangungutang eh. Normal lang yan. So ngayon, normal na ang mangungutang. No? Abnormal na ang mag-iipon. Okay? So, uh, keeping up with social media friends also sometimes can get very, very expensive. So, next. The main talaga na ituturo ko sa inyo ngayong gabi is this, uh, these four basic financial planning concepts. Financial planning concepts. Therefore, if you're not yet experiencing to plan for your finances, after this talk, I think you will. No? So pagkatapos ng uh, talk ko ngayong gabi, I think uh, magsisimula ka na pong uh, iplano yung financial, uh, finances mo. So number one po, the X-curve concept. Number two, the solid financial foundation. Number three is the rule of 72. And number four is pay yourself first. Yan lang. Apat lang talaga ang ta dapat natin matutunan for tonight. Okay. So, bakit po X-curve muna ang ituturo ko? Because X-curve uh, explains why financial planning is very important. Now, did you try uh, planning your finances already? Did you try to uh, somehow no write na magkano kayang gusto kong pera uh, by year 2030? Ganyan. Did you try? Now, if not, pakichat dyan, I did not try yet, ma'am. I did not try yet to plan for how much retirement do I have. I'm, how much money or how much retirement do I have in the future. Now, guys, very simple lang tong X-curve concept. You can see here X, no? Uh, dalawang line. Uh, line going up and line going down. So, this line going up is considered to be the money line or the law of increasing your wealth or building your wealth or increasing your savings or increasing your income. Now, this line going down colored red is considered to be the law of reducing your responsibilities or the law of reducing it, no? The, your responsibility. Now, um, very simple lang. Kailangan mo lang talagang i-increase itong savings line mo. At kailangan mo lang i-reduce ang mga responsibilities mo. That's how simple it is. Now ngayon, if you come to realize, or kung i-analyze mo guys, medyo kung i-compare mo yung assets mo or savings mo compared to responsibilities, saan ang mas, mas, ano, mas uh, mataas? Yung income mo ba or savings mo ba or yung responsibilities mo? Okay? Yan lang. That's uh, how we're going to analyze the X-curve concept. Because guys, when we well, uh, while we're younger, we are we have no savings, and of course we have high responsibilities. But while younger, then we are still uh, in the stage na tayo ang nagtatrabaho for money. We are working for money. Active income pa ang andito sa atin. So because we're still working, kaya natin talaga ma-manage yung finances natin at we will set aside some amount para madagdag-dagdag dito sa ating tinatawag na money line. And then, we will also slowly decrease and finish our responsibilities. No? Pababaan talaga natin. So that, while getting older, so ito, ito yung timeline, no? from younger to older generation. While getting older, we're slowly building our wealth and reducing our responsibilities. Pagdating natin ng retirement, we already have our passive income, which the money will work for us na. Kasi we stop from our active income na dito. We stop from our job. No? So kailanganin na natin ang passive income. Okay? So remember guys, that when you say needs, tempor uh, permanent na yan ang needs natin. So we need permanent money. So, but remember, jobs are not permanent. So, kailangan talaga natin mag-ipon for passive income. Because as what I've mentioned, when we retire, wala na po tayong trabaho. So, kailangan na natin ang passive income. And always remember, guys, that in life, there are only two ifs. A, what if we die too soon? And B, what if we live too long? Di ba tama? In my case, my mom uh, died when I was 13. Batang-bata pa kami. Wala naman kaming property. Hindi naman kami mayaman. Hindi naman kami hasindero, no? So, ako as the eldest, 
naghihirap talaga no in 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 uh in uh, uh supporting my siblings then hindi ko na, na nalalaman nito until i become part of IMG na if this letter A will happen it will be the insurance or instant protection will be needed kailangan pa lang ang instant money or insurance to protect us if we die too soon because if you die too soon, as what you have noticed, wala ka pang ipon dito at uh, mataas pa ang responsibilidad mo. What if you are already a family man? Kailangan mag may mag-replace sa responsibilities mo to your family. And letter B, what if you live too long? I know a lot of people who are already like in their older generation or older years na wala talaga nag-aalaga sa kanila. Because when their children got married, they are not anymore uh, their children's priority. So, kailangan palaga talaga natin mag maghanda for our retirement because if we live too long, we already have this investment or long-term investment. Passive income tayo. We need to prepare. Kasi if our children will get married, hindi na tayo magiging priority niyan. Okay? So, kailangan talaga maghanda. In short, in letter, a number one concept, kailangan natin paghandaan talaga. Okay. Now, the second uh, concept which I am going to teach you is the solid financial foundation. How to build a solid financial foundation? Solid. Simply increase cash flow by reducing expenses. If you reduce your expenses, especially those who are, which are not necessary, ikat mo na para medyo uh, tataas yung net income mo. Right? So this is how we build the solid financial foundation. Can you see that? Ano po ba dyan sa solid financial foundation ang meron ka na? Okay? So, it, uh, before I become part of IMG, I have no health care, both short-term and long-term. Wala ako. Meaning to say, kapag magkasakit talaga ako, mangungutang pa talaga ako for hospitalization because I experienced this to my sister. Then, I don't have any income protection. Then, wala akong emergency fund. And wala akong investment. Ano lang ang meron sa akin, meron akong utang, pero hindi eliminated. So do you think my foundation is strong and solid? Hindi. So that's the reason why sabi ko, uy, parang late na ako nito ah. Because I know IMG when I was 31. So sabi ko, parang late na ako kasi I was working for 12 years. Bakit, ko lang, bakit ngayon ko lang nalaman itong concepts na to? No? And then, uh, bakit po, uh, kailangan or nasa, nasa, nasa pinaka-base talaga ang tinatawag nating healthcare. Kasi alam natin na kapag hindi tayo mag-prepare nito, lahat ng ating investment kung meron man, matatinag lahat. Everything will vanish because we need to prepare. We need to really like, what? Pay the hospitalization bills and so on and so forth. Right? And bakit din kailangan ng income protection? Because if you have your investment kung uh, meron man again, Tapos, the parents will die. So, mabenta lahat ng investment para ipalit dun sa income ng parents. And remember, these investments, hard-earned money yan. At bigla lang mawawala, no? Hindi mabigyan ng hostesya. Tapos, we need also to eliminate debts because it's useless to have an investment na, na meron kang maraming utang. At the same time, kung wala kang emergency fund, tapos meron kang investment, kukunin mo na agad ang investment to replace the emergency fund. So, kailangan talaga each one of this ladder ma-build natin. So, let's go now to understanding healthcare. And remind you guys, or mind you guys, feel health is not a healthcare. Okay? Now, there are three kinds of healthcare. Or two kinds. Because senior care and short-term uh, functions the same. Okay. So, uh, short-term healthcare, ito yung binibigay ng company natin. Kapag we're, we are uh, working in a company, bigyan tayo ng HMO. Tapos, yearly renewable siya. Tapos, of course, kapag hindi na-renew ng company mo, wala ka na ding tinatawag na coverage. Minsan din, individual can pay, individual can buy, or family can buy, but again, yearly renewable. Kung hindi ka na mag-renew, wala na ding coverage. Therefore, if you will not get sick, you cannot get back your money, basically. Now, si senior care, uh, this will be given to ages 61 and up. Same function pa rin sa short term, na yearly renewable, and there is no money return. But medyo mahal lang ang senior care because as you get older, the risk of getting sick is very high. That's why medyo mahal. 
Now, what we recommend is the long term. I think this is your first time hearing the word long term. Kasi most of the HMOs outside um, are short term. No? So, ang long term namin is very recommendable because it will give you a long term care. Na even after retirement, meron ka pa rin health care. And in fact, nagbibigay ito sa iyo ng income even if you stop already with your job. Meron ka pa rin income. And uh, protection on life is also here, included. So talaga ang ganda-ganda ng long term. So in the Philippines, remember, a lot of sick people die not because there is no medicine or treatment, but because they don't have money. So this is why we need to know what is healthcare. So yan ang HMO or short term hanggang 60 lang, guys. Pero what we need is yung pang long term, which is like panghabang buhay talaga. Okay? Now, um, why do we need long-term care? Because this is the solution to what if we live too long. We don't need it if we won't get sick. We can rely on our government to take care of us. If our children will take care of us. If you can bring your company's HMO in retirement. So if you love yourself and your family, have yourself a health care. And remember again, feel health is not a health care. Okay? A lot of families' finances break down because of an illness experienced by a loved one. Alam natin yan, guys. So, huwag natin hayaan mangyari din sa atin. So, if, you're, uh, uh, if you'll get hospitalized, saan ka magpili dyan? A or B? Remember, guys, that the most expensive beds are not in hotels, but it's, it's in the hospitals. So, kailangan talaga natin paghandaan. Okay? So, ito po yung... Um, uh, four cornerstone ng aming long-term health care or long-term care. One, if you'll get sick today, you can use it today. And if you'll get sick when you get old, you can still use it. And there is life insurance included. And of course, savings and investment is in the same savings program. That's the reason why this is very complete. Ito yung uh, nirecommend namin, uh, especially in level one of building the solid financial foundation, because as what you have noticed, there is healthcare already, there is life insurance, and there is investment. So, parang malapit mo na talagang mabuild yung solid financial foundation mo in just one saving program, uh, savings program alone. Okay? So, yan, we're done with the healthcare. Let's proceed to income protection. What's the use of income protection, guys? Life insurance is very simple. If the Lord takes you home early, your kids won't go hungry. That's the purpose. No? So, how much income protection do you need? I need you to focus because I know that you have policies, no? Uh, tingnan natin kung hindi ka ba underinsured. Okay? So, ang, ang formula niyan is income replacement equals monthly income times 12 times 10. That's your formula for you to know how much income protection do you need. Example, meron kang salary na 20000 a month times 12, which is 12 months for a year, meaning to say you have an annual income of 240,000. Times 10, it's 2.4 million ang kakailanganin mo pala for your income replacement with that 20,000 pesos na sahod every month. What if you, your salary is more than that? It means to say that your income protection is also more than that. Okay, why? Because 2.4 million at 10%, that's 240,000 per year. Divided by 12, it will give 20,000 to your family per month. So parang hindi ka lang nawawala. So but remember, ang kailangan mo i-protect, hindi lang income. Kasi meron ka pang utang eh. Sinong pababayarin mo sa mo? Meron ka pang mortgage. Sinong magbayad sa mortgage mo? Meron pang education ng mga anak mo. Kailangan mo din paghandaan. So, for example, ang debt mo, 100,000, income replacement, 2.4 million, mortgage, 600, education, 800, a total of 3.9 million. Is that big? Of course, yes. But kailangan mo yang gawin kasi you are expensive. Mahal ka. Because, you're, because your family is relying on you. Katulad ng sasakyan mo, binilan mo ng insurance talaga na mahal na mahal. Pero ikaw na, ikaw ang nagbabaya dun sa insurance at ikaw yung nagdadrive, wala kang insurance. So that's basically the purpose. So um, maybe you're buying insurances from these uh, companies. Pakibasa na lang guys, no? Kung ano yung uh, policy, no? Tapos, we recommend buy term invest the difference or VUL which is unbundled. Don't worry, I will not discuss this much uh, tonight but there is another training for this. Bakit po ni recommend yan? Kasi... Of course, at least the term insurance is cheaper 
And at the same time po, uh, you can monitor your investment at the same time. Ikaw mismo monitor ng investment mo. So we recommend the Manila Bankers Life Most 18. Yan po ang recommendation namin. Just ask the person who invited you about this. So I'm just giving you the uh, recommend, recommended namin dito sa IMG. So we're done with the income protection. Let's go to eliminate debts. Remember guys that debts or debt is of two kinds. One is bad debt and the other one is good debt. Good debt is when you borrow money and earn from it. It's a good debt. But if you borrow money and does not earn from it, it's a bad debt. Binabalay mo lang ng gadget, uh, ginalagala mo lang sa Hong Kong, punta kang Palawan, Boracay, ganyan. That's a bad debt. So ano meron ka ngayon? Good debt or bad debt? You analyze. So be honest, pakichat sa chat box. I have bad debt, ma'am. I have good debt, ma'am. But because I'm part of IMG right now, ma'am, because I'm already like attending your webinar, siguro mag-change na po ako. Oh, lahat babayaran ko na ang bad debt ko at uh, hindi na ako magungutang. So this is one thing that changed my life. Ito po yung isa sa mga nabago sa aking buhay. No, ang hindi na mangutang, at the same time, little by little, babayaran para matapos ang lahat ng utang. Okay? Now, why people fall on debt trap? Because of the buy, pay later, zero down payment, zero installment, sale, no or low down payment. Yan po ang mga rason talaga. And uh, why should we manage our debts? Hindi maganda kapag mayrami tayong utang. Uh, debt can turn into a disease. It could control your life, diminish your happiness, and limit your freedom. I experienced the same. Because before, how many times po ako nagpalit-palit ng SIM card? How many times po kami nang utang doon sa Sun, Globe, Smart? Ngayon, na-affordable ko na ang, afford ko na ang kukuha ng postpaid. Na, nahihiya na ako because when I fall in line, pagdating ko doon sa Globe, meron, blacklisted na pala ako kasi meron kaming utang noon when I was yet a teacher in the government. Di ba nahihiya ako? So wala tayong freedom dito kapag may utang tayo. Let's little by little finish it. No? And then, we change money mindset na. Debt won't solve money problems. Alam natin yan. Jobs are not permanent. Do not spend money not yet earned. Saving money is not saving for disasters. There is no one-time, big-time lock. So, uh, here are some tips to manage our debts because, of course, we have this book also, no? Uh, authored by Ben Santiago and Benji Santiago. So, increase cash flow, reduce expense, and ex increase income. Simple lang naman to number one, eh. We have 24 hours in a day and you work for 8 hours. Meron kang spare time na 16 hours. You can increase your income by working extra hours. That's how simple it is. So, wag tayo matulog sa 16 hours, guys. No, magtrabaho din tayo. And the good thing is, IMG can help you. Papano yan, no? Because we can teach you to do business here. So, don't get into more debt. Live below your dreams. Uh, you, uh, no, live below your means and live simply. Change habit of spending na tayo to habit of saving. So, make a list of all debts and pay off the high interest and low balance. Then, consider liquidating non-income assets to pay debts. Very simple lang naman eh. Only hindi tayo na-reminded. So, get a coach to guide you. Okay. So, we're done with eliminating debts because we're, we're not going to continue the emergency fund. Because the moment you stop or you finish paying, up your, or paying off your debts, you can now slowly build your emergency fund. No? Ano yung emergency fund? So, of course, emergency fund is needed, especially during the loss of job, major home repairs, major car repairs, serious hospitalization, major appliance repairs, extended elderly care. Yan po. And I know, hindi lahat sa atin dito nagbibuild ng emergency fund for that. I can still remember when I was bringing my son to uh, uh, the ENT, no? Kasi merong nalagay sa kanyang ano, tenga. So when I was there, like, na, naka wrong parking ako. Of course, the towing yung car ko, no? So nadala doon sa LTO, chuchu, blah, blah. Wala akong emergency fund, eh. Ang ginagawa ko noon, I uh, have my earrings pawned, no? In Cebuana. So sinasangla ko yung earrings ko just to, ano, no, para makuha ko yung car ko doon sa LTO. Diba funny? No, so, dito, lahat ng mga tinuturo dito sa IMG applicable sa akin. And who knows, applicable din sa'yo. And mabago ka because of this. No? Hindi natin alam. So, having emergency funds of about 3 to 6 months of your total expenses will free you from financial stress. Ay, kapag financial stress talaga. Kahit bata ka pa, magiging matanda ka tingnan, no? 
Pero kapag financially free ka, kahit matanda ka, bata ka tingnan. Kasi wala kang problem, no? Start by saving at uh, saving at, less, at least 1,000 pesos a month. Okay? So, next, let's go now to investment. Kasi ito yung, ano eh, ito yung mga uh, ini-inquire nyo sa Facebook. So, are you excited? Sabi nyo sa sarili mo kanina, hay, naku, ang inaantay ko lang dito, talagang ang, inve ang investment side lang. Part din yan sa i-discuss ko. Okay, so, as what you have noticed, guys, pang, uh, guys, pang last na ang investment eh. Pang last na talagang mabuild natin if we're going to start building our solid financial foundation. Okay, so before that, let's understand how money works, Mona. Do you know how money works? If I'll ha ask you, what do you know about money? Okay? Kapag i-chat niya sa chat box, what do you know about money? Kahit isa lang, tingnan ko dito, sino mag-chat mag dito? Kahit isa lang, what do you know about money? Siguro, merong sasagot na dyan. Ma'am, I don't know much and I don't have much. No? So, yan ang most na sagot natin. I don't know much and I don't have much. Minsan nga eh, if we talk about money, it's somewhat like, Parang tabu siya, no? When you talk about money, parang sa working environment natin, parang ayaw natin pag-usapan ang pera. No? Kasi uh, sometimes, kung meron tayo, nagigilty tayo. Kung wala naman tayo, nahihiya, no? So, yun, ang, yun ang, ang ating most na ma-feel. Okay. So, these are the factors uh, affecting or these are the factors that we need to know in building wealth. One, money. Second, time. Next, rate of return. Next, inflation and tax. But was, as what you've noticed, there is positive and negative here. So, uh, what are we going to do to build wealth is to increase the positive and reduce the negative. So, kailangan natin dagdagan yung pera natin no, to build money because we need money to build money. We need time, long, longer time to that, uh, for that money to grow. And of course, we need a very good interest rate for our money to compound or to grow. That's how we grow or do we build wealth. You know? So uh, the positive must be higher than the negative to, to build wealth. Because we all know that inflation and tax is always negative, always a minus. No? So kailangan natin dagdagan yung uh, money, time, and rate of return to beat the inflation and taxes. Okay. Now, when we talk about investment, guys, it must be long-term. There's no such investment as three months and 60% return. Ha? No? Kapag sinasabing investment, wag tayo maniwala sa three months, double your money. No, wala yan. No? So, uh, this is now the time for us to understand how money works. Because if you will understand how money works, you will not work hard for money until you die. You will also let your money work for you and relax. No? Di ba ang galing? Okay. So, please remember, there are two types of income. Active income, which is coming from your direct labor. Yan po ang talagang uh, na, na mostly na ginagawa ng tao. Patient or job salary. Uh, of course, doctor, patient, kapag lawyer, client, si fair contract, no? agent, commission. Then, uh, pangalawa po is passive. This type of income is what everybody is looking for. Kailangan, gusto natin ito talaga. So, income keeps coming even if you're not working. You stop working, your income continues. Kahit nagbabakasyon ka, meron ka pa rin income. Yan ang hinahanap natin. That's why I love in IMG. I love this will be part in IMG. Kasi walang maghahanap sa akin. Uy, absent ka daw. Awol ka daw. Ganyan-ganyan. Wala na yan dito sa IMG. I own my time. I'm my own boss. No? That's why I like here kasi hindi na hindi ka nahanapin you, you can go anywhere you want but your income is still there so that's passive income. So interest uh we can get that from interest income from the investment mutual fund stocks bonds long term healthcare. Yung sabi ko kanina na we recommend the long term healthcare and at merong income na or uh investment na makapag uh, support sa inyo even if you stop working. Yan po. So, ilang years ka lang mag-ipon, but the money will work for you na. Magtutubo na siya, so you can use it when you retire. So, royalty income, guys. Rentals income and etc. So, remember that you can have this royalty income from businesses. You can have this rentals kapag wala kang uh, enough na pera to, ano, to invest the, as principal. No? Pero, uh, to have this very possible, kailangan mo dagdagan muna yung income muna ngayon. Increase your cash flow. 
the good thing is matuturuan at matutulungan ka namin kung paano talaga ma-increase mo yung income dito. Okay, so do not work hard for money, guys. Let your money work for you. So, so let's understand rule of 72 first because we're now into investment. Very simple lang naman. 72 is constant. So for example, you are opening an account in the bank. And for example, the bank uh, gives you a return of 1%. For the sake of example, no 1% ang uh, return sa bank sa inyo. So with the use of the rule of 72, 72 divided by 1, it will take your money to double after 72 years. So that 10,000 uh, after 72 years will become 20,000. Are you excited? Are you excited to wait for that 72 years for that 10,000 to become 20,000? So meaning to say, ang liit-liit lang ng interest. So kailangan mo malaman kung saan yung medyo malaki. Okay? Kasi, of course, we know that uh, we need a very good interest rate, potential interest rate for our money to double. Diba? So ngayon, I am giving here an example. Sake of example lang ito, ah. 4%, 8%, and 12%. So if uh, we are three investors, tayong tatlo investor tayo, we have the same ages, 29 years old, and the same amount of money, 100,000. So I invest in 4%. Uh, Ms., uh, Sir Dave Lewis uh, is investing in 8%. And Miss Sai Bongo is invested in 12%. So uh, in my case, 18 years for my 100,000 to double, Sir Dave Lewis will uh, wait nine years for his money to double kasi sa 8% siya. And Miss Sai Bongo will wait her money to double after six years. So very obvious lang naman if tingnan natin. The greater the interest rate, the shorter the period that you're going to wait for your money to double. So kailangan mo malaman kung saan ang may potential na interest rate para medyo mabilis ang pag, uh, ano, medyo mabilis ang pag uh, compound ng pera mo. Okay? So, I got uh, 400,000 when I reached 65 kasi every 18 years siya nag-double. So, uh, Sir Dave got 1.6 pag, uh, pagdating niya ng 65 years old. And uh, Miss Sai got 6.4 million pagdating niya ng 65 years old. So, meaning to say, sa akin na 4%, 400,000 lang sa akin. Kang Sir Dave, 1.6 million. Kay uh, Miss Sai, 6.4 million. Siguro, same kami, employee. Same kami, smart. Pero ang nakaiba sa amin, alam ni Sai at saka ni Dave kung saan ilagay ang 8 at saka 12%. Ako hindi ko alam. So that iba pag may alam. Iba pag financially literate. So ngayon, I come to realize, guys, because I, I have a lot of loans before, I realized that because I keep borrowing money and always paid interest to my utang, the money is working against me. But if I happen to save money and earn that interest, the money is working for me. So another realization, the poor will become poorer and the rich becomes richer if they will know this rule of 72. Now, after this session, guys, if you'll teach this uh, formula to your friends, family members, and relatives, and they will know na pwede pala mag-invest sa magandang interest rate, then meron kang mabagong buhay. That's the reason why we're so proud of here. We're so proud what we're doing here kasi marami kaming nababago dito. Okay? So ngayon, uh, how do you want to make 6 million? Do you want to uh, work for that 6 million na mag-ipon ka talaga? Like uh, how many years? Like 30 years? Uh, mag-ipon ka ng, uh, for example, 200,000 per year bago ka makapag-save ng 6 million? So kung yan ang mangyayari, 200,000 ang iipunin mo per year, hindi ka pa kumakain yan kapag yung sahod mo minimum. Para lang talaga makaipon ka ng 6 million because you work hard for money. But what if you know already that money will work for you, the eye? Parang meron kang alam na, ah, pwede pa lang ang aking pera magtatrabaho para sa akin. So yan, first option, maglagay ka ng 100,000 at 12% interest, hayaan mo lang doon siya, Tapos, after 36 years, you can get 6.4 million. And kung wala kang 100,000 isang bigayan, then let's have 1,000 pesos per month. Sakripisyo ka lang mag-ipon. You can still get 6.4 million. Ang 1,000 per month in 12 months, that's 12,000. Kung i-compare mo dito sa 200,000 per year sa option number one, mas maganda talagang piliin ang option number two. Therefore, you know now, guys, that the money will work for you pala. Pwede pa lang ang pera ang magtatrabaho para sa atin. Congratulations in advance, guys. Thank the person who invited you because now you learn these concepts, right? 
Okay, now let's go to the mutual fund. This is how mutual fund works. And again, this 10 p.m., we have a special talk for this. Pure mutual fund na po. Pero I'll give you the basic lang muna na idea. So, you have your 1,000 pesos. Investor ka na. Ah, congratulations kasi 1,000 pesos lang investor ka na. No? So, uh, but, your 1,000 pesos, hindi yan i-accept sa stock market. For example, punta ka na BPI, punta ka na BDO at magiging shareholder ka. 1,000 pesos lang pera mo, hindi pwede yan. That's the reason why we need to, ano pa, uh, we are going to give our money to the fund house muna. Ipupool muna nila yung pera natin. Like a swimming pool, kailangan muna ipunuin yung pool bago ka makaligo, no? So that's the thing. Kailangan muna pupunuin sa mga tigwa 1,000 sa mga tao bago nila i-invest doon sa securities. So it will be the fund manager to do the trading, to do the investing. Ikaw ay investor pero siya ang mag-manage ng pera mo. Again, siya, si fund manager, ang mag-manage ng pera mo. Why? Because you are not expert. If you will do the driving, if you'll do the, the, the trading, malulugi ka lang. So, hayaan na lang natin si fund manager na gagawa niyan kasi his role is to let your money grow. Alam niya kung saan ang mga company na dapat paglagyan ng pera mo. So, it will uh, generate return kasi you buy shares of stocks and the return will be passed back to you as the investor. Diba? Madali lang naman eh. Huwag mo na i-complicate. Ma'am, paano ba ako mag-invest sa mutual fund? Study ko muna. Huwag ka na mag-study. I-ano mo na lang, i-invest mo lang, hayaan mo ng fund manager mag magpatubo ng pera mo. All you need to do is to increase your income na lang para marami ka ma-invest. Okay? So, example nito kasi si Mr. Depositor, wala pa siyang alam eh. So, sa bank muna siya naglagay ng kanyang savings at saka uh, si, si bank ang may alam kung saan ilagay yung pera, siguro pinafinancing or whatsoever. So, si Mr. Depositor na nagtrabaho sa pera, binigyan lang siya ng return for the sake of example na 0.25%. Pero si bank, kasi alam ni bank kung saan ilagay ang pera, siya naka-earn. Pero sino nagtrabaho sa pera? Ikaw. Pero ngayon kasi literate ka na, andito ka na sa IMG, ikaw na lang, diritso ka na sa shareholder. Diritso ka na kukuha ng 12% potential. Potential income of 12%. Okay? Congratulations kasi may alam ka na. So now, let's go to the last concept, which is paying yourself first. What is your idea of paying yourself first? Kasi ikaw ang nagtatrabaho, kailangan bayaran sarili ko, kailangan ako enjoy kasi YOLO, you only live once, no? Uh, you forgot that there is also uh, you go, no? You also, uh, yeah, go, you also get old, no? So, uh, pay God and yourself first is uh, show the abundance formula. This, is show, this show uh, shows us where we can get the money we invest, to invest. So do not save what is left after spending. Spend what is left after saving according to Warren Buffett. Okay? So yan, 10, 20, 70 pala ang formula. 100% income mo, gross. 10% tights mo, 20% agad savings mo, and ikaw na bahala sa 70% expenses. Kung may matira for the savings, di idagdag mo na. Okay? Now, so how do you practice paying yourself first? Very simple lang naman. I-classify mong needs mo or and wants. Purpose o forma? Anong gusto mo? Purpose o forma? Deferred buying gadgets and wants. Save instead of sale. Reduced at eat out. No? Di ba ang ganda? Iwas luho para iwas luha. Then, back to basics. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Eliminate waste and leaks. Uh, turn off when not in use. Turn trust into cash. Buy uh, only what's needed. So, maglista ka. Alam naman natin na noon pa. Ituturo yan sa TLE natin. H-E. Heli. No, kailangan maglista talaga kung pupunta ng grocery. Okay? Iwas aksaya. So, cut little expenses din. Cut the Coca-Cola, cut the fast food, cut the beer, cut the cigarettes, cut the lotto, cut the... Ito, pwede ka magbaon ng tubig sa work, uh, sa work mo. Magbaon ka din. No? Baon ka ng uh, pagkain mo. Tapos, cut the latte. If you are going to uh, do this, makakakaipon ka. Oh, di ba? Magaling. Maganda ang tinuturo namin dito. Wala kaming networking, di ba? Saan ang networking dito ngayon? Natututo ka kung paano ka mag-ipon. Remember that 33 pesos per day can go a long way. As Benjamin Franklin said, a small leak can uh, sink a great ship. So, ang buo nagsimula sa barya. Start saving. No? Kahit 33 pesos a day. And understand where uh, your money goes. Know your big leaks, your liabilities. Ano yung mga liabilities mo? Then, assets are anything you buy or have that puts 
money in your pocket. So, palagi ka bang naglagay ng pera sa pocket mo or you you keep uh, getting money out from your pocket. So, liabilities yan. So, ito lang, soft drinks, no? Magkano maiipon mo? Coffee, cigarettes, lotto tickets, extra phone bills, pedicure, manicure. Kung ikat mo yan, milyonaryo ka. Kung ikat mo lang, little by little. If you started this, that's why I regret. Kaya kung nagsimula akong nag-ipon when I graduated from college like 20 years old and, and now I am 35, siguro may million sa rin ako. Diba? Pero because walang nagtuturo. So ngayon, for those who are 20 and below here for attending or uh, 30 and below, congratulations. No? Congrats talaga. Tapos, Level 1 talaga namin na tinuturo namin is Kaiser, Kaiser Investment kasi ito yung level 1 sa pag-build natin ng solid financial foundation. So, it is only like 7 years saving program. 7 years ka lang mag-save. But uh, you let your money work for you na dito, 13 years. Tapos you can achieve the retirement money or the money that you want after the maturity. If you're 22 today, pag 42 mo, meron ka ng pera. Pwede pang business, pwede whatsoever. Basta kay nag-ipon ka ng... Uh, ng early at uh, hainayaan mo lang siyang tutubo. So money is working for you. A lot of benefits kasi 3-in-1 siya. Meron na siyang healthcare. Meron na siyang income protection na included at the same time, investment. So madami na din ang benefits, medical benefits. So just ask the person who invited you after this session, mag-usap kayo about this. Okay? Then, uh, Yes, uh, don't worry, Kaiser is, of course, accredited sa lahat ng high-end hospitals natin. And we have also clinics nationwide. And uh, it is endorsed by Sharon Conetta, no? So now let's go to Money Talks, Strategies of the Wealthy, okay? Ano po yung mga strategies of the wealthy? So let's compare poor mindset and rich mindset muna. So si poor mindset, spend money and save what is left. While si rich mindset, save muna siya bago mag uh, ipon, uh, bago mag-spend. Si poor mindset, consider healthcare and insurance as expense. Pero si rich mindset, consider healthcare and insurance as investment. Si poor mindset works hard for the money and rich mind mindset, let the money work for them. So saan ka dito? Poor mindset or rich mindset? Sige nga, be honest. Saan ka dito nung una? Rich mindset ka ba or poor mindset? So ngayon dapat ka na mag-change. So the difference between the wealthy and the most people is the way they think in planning their future. I hope so that pagkatapos nito, you will slowly and start to plan for your future. Okay? So IMG can help us guys from being an employee to become business owner at the same time investor kasi we have also business opportunity dito sa IMG. And self-employed to become business owner at the same time investor. Hindi tayo net worker, ha? Investor. So, when it comes to securing and saving your future, many good people fail. Many hardworking people fail. Smart people fail. Young old people fail. Teachers, engineers, doctors, and other professionals. I hope that we will not fail na. Kasi we already know the financial concepts. I hope that we will start uh, planning and managing our finances. Okay? So, take action, secure your future now. No matter what your skills is, one thing is for sure, you're going to get old next year. And no matter what your skills is, your child will grow up and enter college and you would need money for his or her education. No matter what your skills is, you will eventually retire and stop making active income. You have to be prepared for these kinds of situations. Act now. So, Mr. Save Early and Mr. Save Later has differences. Kung nag-iipon ka ng maaga for seven years, Hinayaan mo yung pera mo na tumutubo at mag-earn ng interest, compounding interest. Meron kang 6.4 million pagdating ng 65 years old mo. Pero kapag nag-study ka pa ng 7 years, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 years, bago ka nag-ipon, ah, 2.4 million na lang ang pera mo. So, even 7 years, it, it, uh, ano, it takes you like 2 million na malugi mo sa time. That's why I said kanina, talagang ang oras ay kailangan. kailangan. So, start, start now. So here's IMG can help you because we offer membership platform dito, membership benefit kapag member kayo. So kapag member kayo guys, you have direct access na to the different financial companies, enjoy discounts from financial products you buy, and you become your own money manager. You bypass na the middlemen. So yan ang benefit. If you want the in investment, kailangan mo mag-member para ma-access mo yon. Kasi after nito, meron na naman magtatanong eh, ma'am, kailangan ba talaga mag-member bago ako makarating dyan sa lahat? Yes. 
para maka ikaw na diritso ang mag ano maka discount sa lahat ng bibilhin mo that's the purpose kasi after nito may magtatanong na naman so that's the purpose kasi as a member din you can uh, be helped in building your solid financial foundation wala nang ibang tutulong sa iyo na ma-build ang solid financial foundation mo that's our main goal dito na makapag-build ka ng solid financial foundation at you have free financial education lifetime we have free financial checkup you can have a free accidental insurance, no hundred thousand and up so as membership, as member. Tapos meron ka ng libre pa frame ng eyeglasses mo. You can buy na final expense like Saint Peter na fifty thousand pesos, five hundred pesos, a uh, fifty thousand pesos worth na five hundred pesos lang ang bili mo. May libre pa check up ka na. Bakit? Kung mag-i-invest ka lang ba, diritso ka dun sa investment at magka-hospital ka, magpa-check up ka, at wala ka naghanda para sa hospitalization needs mo, i-withdraw mo din yung investment mo. So, kailangan mo mag-prepare talaga. Lahat meron ka dapat nito para hindi matitinag yung finances mo. Access ka na sa long-term, short-term healthcare, tapos meron ka na yung mabibili na uh, uh, affordable life insurance dito. Magtanong ka lang about MB Life namin. No? Tapos, as member, instant ka na na investor meron ka ng 1000 initial investment no kapag member ka dito sa IMG tapos ikaw na lang magdagdag ng kahit 500 pesos anytime you want it like basta regular lang tapos uh, there are two ways to invest in Jollibee may it be franchisee ka or shareholder so kung franchisee ka 30 million ang kailangan na, kailanganin natin ang laki-laki so dito na lang tayo sa tigo 1000 shareholder ka na Okay? So, meron tayong uh, discounts on mga non-life insurances. Meron tayong mga discounts on mga real estate. Pwede ka ding ikaw ang mag-commission dito kasi as member, you are already a licensed or financial educator or coded as agent. Meaning to say, you have the chance na to earn. Na kahit part-time lang. So, madagdagan mo na ang income mo. No? So, of course, you are having your business na dito. Become your own financial educator. Uh, on your time, online system. I, I like this. I, I, what I like the most in here is to achieve the income you want. No, ito yung nagugustuhan ko dito. And can be part-time or full-time, no quota, no pressure, permanent position, no demotion, ownership, and vested rights. So, ano ang vested rights? Meaning to say, if I'm a CEO in the company right now, I, if I resign or I retire, I can give my position to my family members. No? So, that's it. So, membership benefit is, uh, is very good because IMG is a one-stop shop. Kahit ano dyan na kailanganin mo, you can have it uh, directly accessed. No? So then, uh, meron kaming uh, rewards to travel the world. So ito po yung na-travel ko na. No? I was in Macau. I was in Hong Kong. Uh, yes, I was in Tokyo, Kuala Lumpur. I was with, uh, of course, no? Uh, ito yung mga, of course, close ko din sa IMG. Ito yung team ko, si Manuel Garces, na after two months knowing IMG, 11 years nag-teach sa DepEd, nag-resign. At ngayon, running for CEO. So ako, uh, got the highest um, achievement in the academe. Pero si Miss Marian is just a high school graduate and a mother of eight. Pero same kami, part of the Millionaires Club and CEO din siya. Therefore, you also have the chance to become CEO in your own organization in the company. No? So, yan. Singapore, Thailand, no? So, and rewards. You can promote yourself dito as fast as you can. Wala kang boss kasi eh. Depende sa yung effort yan. Depende sa heart mo yan na tutulong sa iba. No? So, then, uh, of course, these are the things that you can get as a benefit in IMG. Dami-daming benefit natin. This is the good thing that we offer. Aside from learning, meron ka pang maraming benefit if you're members. So, ito yung kaibahan namin sa ibang companies. The difference between the our company and the others is that we have a lot of benefits as members. Okay? Tapos access ka pa sa financial education talaga. So you can have a preferred card for only 5 5 only, 5000 pesos. No, so and this can uh, these are the things you can uh, see in your portal. Dito meron ka makikita sa investment mo, pwede ka makatap up dito. So ito yung portal mo ha, maka-open ka dito kapag member ka na, no? So then uh of course ako yan tapos ito si Miss Marian Traya, no? Tapos, of course, nakita niyo siguro yung video kanina na I'm also teaching the men in uniform kasi I'm a regional advisory council, chairman on financial literacy, no? So, sa PNP. Tapos, I would like to end my talk with this. If you are born poor, it's not your mistake. But if you die poor, it's your mistake. 
Thank you so much, guys, for listening. I hope that you're learning. I see that there are maybe almost 100 chats na dito. Are you learning, guys? chat. I am learning. Okay? So, poor po, poor mindset, rich mindset. Hi. Live sa kumis. Sino ba to? Para sa may magastos na mga needs for life to live. Money moves people. Governs economy. Medium of exchange. Okay. Do you have questions, guys? So I would like to see uh, someone here who are leaders in the company, no? And I would like them to share. Okay? So, titingnan ko muna kung sino ang andito ngayon. Dave, are you there, Dave? Andito ka ba, Dave? Okay, so I will unmute you all. Tapos, if gusto nyo mag -ano, magsalita, wait lang muna. Okay. Ako pa madyo nante? Kung gusto nyo magsalita, guys, paki-unmute na lang. And if you have questions, I can answer maybe one or two questions. Thank you so much for attending once again. So, for those uh, people na ini-invite po ng ibang trainers dito, paki-ano lang. Jay, are you there, Jay? Paki-share naman, Jay. I'm happy that I see you. So, I will unmute you. Jay, are you there? Uh, yes, Doc, I'm here. So, thank you no, for allowing me to share. Uh, Ano no, parang na-memorize ko na yung ano no. Pag natulog ako, X-curve na, tsaka <laughs> ano yung napapag pa ko yung solid financial foundation. Well, uh, thank you so much no, for attending here because uh, this the information no uh, really changes your life. So may pabakaroon pa tayong music. So, so thank you so much for attending and of course, uh, para naman po ito sa inyo. So by the way, I am J. Mark Anuta. So I'm 24 years old. I'm a former uh, marine officer on board. No? Seaman po ako, two years po ako nagbabarko. But right now, I'm connected uh, with IMG as full-time financial educator. And uh, right now, no, uh, isang pitik na lang, no, si senior marketing director na. And running for the next position kasi. I'm so inspired with this company kasi. It gave me uh, a new vision, no? And of course, it gave me a, a new essence of life. Kasi uh, nakita ko talaga yung kagandahan ng mission, your teaching, and at the same time, na-apply ko rin siya sa sarili ko, no? Natuto akong mag-save, mag-invest, no? And of course, you are in the community, no? You are in the largest community of savers and investors, so mapapa-invest ka talaga dito. And we're always talking about uh, ano yung shares na bagad na bilhin, and of course, we're talking about uh, investments, 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 so yun yung pinag-uusapan namin dito. And of course, no, uh, if you want to uh, just like if you want to treat the fish, no, you need to treat the water first. So, wherever environment na meron ka ngayon, no, change that environment. Kung nasa environment ka na magastos, change that environment kasi mapapagastos ka talaga dyan. So, dito na environment, if you want to be part of our community, approach the person who invited you and ask, no, and ask, no, you can join our uh, mission here, you know, in our cause here. And of course, you can apply it to yourself. You can start investing right now. So I guess that's all, uh, Doc. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.